stakeholder analysis. How can it be useful? As explained above, you can use stakeholder analysis to generate arguments. You make a list of the stakeholders, then their interests, and use that as inspiration for your argumentation. But let's take a look at an example. The motion is as follows. This house would require university students to work in their country of origin for a number of years after graduation. Take some time to write down which stakeholders you think are involved in this motion. The first stakeholder you might think of are university students. But what are the interests of university students? The first thing you could think of is that they want to have a free choice where to work or where to study. This is specifically important because of the context we explained above, about how these students usually make a conscious decision to go to a country with more opportunities. Another thing you could think of is that these students have usually built up their lives in the new country. Asking them to leave their new friends and new stable life behind is a big burden on them. The second stakeholder you could think of is the government of the country of origin. Why are they a stakeholder? Because they care about the students that have moved away from their country. These are students that are probably uh, talented, intelligent, and going to get a job that requires highly educated people. Because all those people are moving away, which is called brain drain, there is a gap in their economy, and that keeps them from developing. They therefore have an interest to make sure these students come back and work in their economy. And this is also important so we make sure the gap between developed and developing nations doesn't become bigger. A third stakeholder you could think of is the government of the country where these students study. Governments invest in education. This is an investment because if these students graduate and start working in the labor market, that pays off again. That helps with economic growth. But if these students then, after studying, directly move away, they have profited from the resources in that country without paying something back to the government. Their interest, therefore, is making sure that students will also start to work in that same country. As an argument, you could talk about how these governments might increase the fees for universities for international students. You can see how using these stakeholders helps you with generating new ideas for arguments and helps you take a look at this motion from different perspectives and from different groups. It is important to note that a stakeholder is not always a person or a group of people. It could also be something like the environment, future generations, or perhaps animal welfare. Being able to use the stakeholder analysis will hopefully help you improve your argument generation and make sure you come up with great ideas for a new debate.